so i am sure all of you have finished writing this whole thing let us move ahead and take up the next concept for our discussion that is concept of capital gearing now please carefully understand this concept it is directly linked with the previous concept of trading on equity so therefore what i am doing is please understand what is the meaning of gearing in capital when you are raising funds you have two choices choice 1 do not include debt as part of capital choice 2 include debt as part of capital you have two different options available including debt as part of capital not including debt as part of capital when you do not include debt as part of capital means when there is no financial leverage we call that situation as unlevered it can also be called as ungeared it can also be called as ungeared so unlevered or ungeared situation indicates a capital mix where debt is not included now two words unlevered and ungeared they both have same indication but both of these words are used in different context when we talk about the capital we would call that capital as ungeared capital that means the capital does not have gearing but when we talk from the view point of company we would call that company as unlevered company so with the usage of terms the word unlevered or levered goes with company and geared and ungeared goes with capital so once again if you are designing a long term capital as a source of finance and you have not included debt in that capital if it is funded only by equity we would call that capital as ungeared capital and we would call the company as unlevered company now what is this concept of capital gearing use your simple common sense and understanding when i am explaining this point you will easily understand see what happens gearing the concept of gearing is from vehicles gears are used in vehicles right suppose you are trying to ride a motor bike or drive a car when you put on the ignition that is the time your vehicle should be at a zero gear or what we call as neutral gear so zero gear or neutral gear indicates a situation in terms of capital where there is no inclusion of debt then what happens gradually you start increasing the gears gradually you start increasing the gears as and when you want to drive your vehicle faster 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 you keep on changing the gears upward so from zero gear to one gear then from 1 to 2 2 to 3 that means same thing happens with companies now understand concept of gearing with capital and that is where you will understand what is capital gearing so first situation when you start a business where you have absolutely zero idea about what would be your ro ro ce that is rate of return on capital employed what you do is with whatever capital you have your own equity just start with a small scale business with your own equity operate for a couple of years and observe what kind of ro ro ce you can generate suppose over 2 years time you had not been using debt at all that means your business was moving very slow but you have identified that your business has now developed a potential of generating ro ro ce of 20% and suppose borrowings are available in the market at interest rate range between 10 to 12% this gives you an opportunity of trading on equity so what is trading on equity i have already explained if you get an opportunity of trading on equity that time you borrow the money suppose at 10% and put that same money now in your business with that money coming in you have increased capital with that increased capital your operating profit would also increase because you are generating rate of return on capital employed at the rate of 
Now what is happening? When you started the business, it was ungeared capital. Now you have included debt in your capital, but at a smaller quantum, at a smaller level, the proportion of debt is still very low. We will call that as a low geared situation. When you find that your business has still potential of expansion and you still have a high rate of return on capital employed that can be generated, you can start putting more and more of borrowed funds included in your capital. And when the proportion of debt, that is proportion of borrowing or borrowed funds in your capital starts increasing, your gearing position of capital starts shifting from low gears to high gears. The more of debt fund you use, the more of high gearing situation you have. So from ungeared position to low geared and from low geared to high geared, gradually you are moving upward. Now, what happens when you are driving your car? You are suppose going at a very good speed and suddenly for some bad roads, you have to slow down. When you have to slow down, you have to again pull down the gears. Same thing can happen in business. You kept on expanding, expanding, expanding with more and more of debt. What will happen? Tell me. One day when you find it is becoming a too risky situation and you want to reduce the burden of debt, you want to lower down the gears, you need to pay out your debt. Now please understand one thing very, very important. What I am trying to explain over here may not be asked in exam, but it is a fundamental concept. Please understand, when I say an unfavorable situation may come later. So earlier it was favorable situation, you kept on borrowing, borrowing. Now suddenly a kind of lockdown situation arises, what we are facing right now worldwide. Now if such unfavorable situation arises, there is recession in the market means the companies are not able to generate good level of operating profit. This is practically happening. In such case, what will happen to your RO, ROCE? Your rate of return on capital employed will start dropping. So there was a level of interest earlier. You were earning RO, ROCE greater than the rate of interest on borrowing. Rate of interest on borrowing, what you have committed stays as it is but your RO, ROCE starts dropping. So what was favorable situation earlier now starts turning to an unfavorable situation. When it starts turning to an unfavorable situation, how would you change your gears? Some people might say it is so simple, reduce the amount of debt. How would you reduce the amount of debt? You need money to pay it back, right? You have borrowed money. Now you need money. It's a recessionary situation. So if I want to maintain my capital, if I want to maintain my capital and I want to reduce the proportion of debt, how would I reduce the proportion of debt? One possibility could be ask more money from equity shareholders. Ask your equity shareholders to contribute more money, raise new equity shares, issue new equity shares. And with the money obtained from equity, you repay your debt so that your capital gear gets lowered and your risk becomes less and you can cope with that situation. But use your common sense. In recessionary situation when people hardly have money to arrange their basic necessities of food and water, do you think people will have enough money in their pocket to invest into new equity? That time you ask people to invest into equity. Who is going to invest into equity in such a risky scenario? Therefore, how to change your capital gear from high to low? You would now observe utility of one very, very important component of capital, something that is called as convertible debentures. I'm sure you people know what is convertible debenture. You would say, sir, we know it. It is a debenture which is convertible into equity. But beta, have you noticed why this kind of instrument was issued? This kind of instrument had been issued and included in your capital to have a position of change in capital gears as and when you want. For example, you find that you are landing up to such a dangerous situation and you want to lower down your gears. 
and fortunately you already have some convertible debentures in your capital what will happen that is the time you make announcement of conversion and you convert your debt into equity what will happen your capital gear which was high will again fall so if capital gearing is low you will somehow manage even in that recessionary situation once again when the favorable situation starts who is stopping you you can again borrow money and again increase the gears and again expand the speed of your business growth this is all about concept of capital gearing which is directly linked with concept of trading on equity so i'll make you write some important notes over here first please take note of these important points carefully so you have already written the heading capital gearing under this heading please write when an enterprise uses debt as part of capital structure then it is considered to have a geared capital and the firm is considered to be a levered firm in other words if the capital employed does not consist of debt component then the situation is considered as ungeared or unlevered situation unlevered firm therefore has no financial risk let us move ahead and continue writing further and write a side heading as trade off between financial risk and profitability under this heading you write for having no financial risk an enterprise is suggested not to borrow that is not to raise funds in the form of debt but doing so it restricts its earning capacity for its equity shareholders and cannot enjoy the position of trading on equity in other words to increase the earnings of equity shareholders the firm will be required to have use of debts in its capital let us write one more paragraph about this concept as and when the proportion of debt increases in capital the firm switches over from unlevered situation to low levered position and then from low levered position to high levered position and then the fact prevails to increase the profitability the degree of risk should be increased so as and when your capital gears are rising up one side you have more and more profitability but other side you have more and more of financial risk also